So I noticed a lot of you guys did it. You went ahead and pulled the plug on the DJI Osmo Action 4. You went ahead and copped the new tech drip because money ain't a thing. You got, you got the bag. And even if you didn't cop it yet, you are on the fence and you wanna know, can the DJI Osmo Action 4 bring some extra sauce? Well, my ninjas don't even worry about it because your boy Sky Money got you. I'm the one. I'm Neo. You made that music. All right, let's, let's get into these tips. <laughs> All right, now tip number one is that DJI is now allowing you to use invisible selfie stick mode with any environment you can use invisible selfie stick. Whereas before, they only allowed you to use it in the snow bucket, which is how I was actually able to get some of these ball shots. I wish I would have brought this up in my pros and cons video because this is by far one of my favorite features and I am so happy DJI did it. Now, you do have to upload the footage and then re-import the footage on your phone but for the most part, it it's good. And that's something to note too, is that you do not have to use DJI's official selfie stick. You could use pretty much any black selfie stick and it works. So I highly recommend taking advantage of this feature. And now tip number two is something that I've noticed while testing out the camera, and that is that DJI is now allowing you to record up to 20 minutes without dividing the file. And now this is kind of a big deal because if I recall right, I believe the DJI Osmo Action 3 as well as the Action 2 divided the files up every five minutes versus the DJI Osmo Action 4 divides them every 20 minutes. Files. Now I know a lot of y'all are rocking the Action 2, so this is for y'all. And that is tip number three is use the small magnetic pendant piece for the Osmo Action 4. You can legit get so many different shots with it. It is, it makes the Action 4 even more saucy. Because since the bottom of the Osmo Action 4 is magnetic, all you have to do is click that magnetic pendant piece on and now you can click it to anything that's magnetic. And now I would not recommend using this for the actual pendant. I would not recommend actually hanging this on your chest chips because it is a bit heavy, much heavier than the Action 2, but I would definitely use it for getting a different variety of shots. So Pimpin, take advantage. Ah, oh, that sun, man, God. And now my next tip would have to be to not use this in vertical mode. I prefer to just use it in four by three because you can get vertical footage shooting four by three in extra wide. All right, so now while shooting in four by three, if I wanted to just reframe this, I can make it even vertical or horizontal. After that, go ahead and add a fisheye removal effect and pimping you a Gucci. <laughs> shooting in 4x3 offers so many benefits. The biggest one being, you do not have to choose between either vertical or horizontal. You can choose both. And in my opinion, this is probably for the best just because you might want to use horizontal footage that you shot vertically and you can't use it. So I highly recommend shooting in 4x3 if you have intentions on shooting vertical footage because you just have so much more flexibility. And now since I brought up the Action 2, my next tip would have to be to take advantage of all the Action 2's accessory because yeah, there's a bunch of them and you could use them all. <laughs> I mean, obviously, except for the cases, obviously. But pretty much from the pendant mount all the way to the selfie stick that was for the DJI Osmo Action 2, to the sticky mount that also came with the DJI Osmo Action 2, you can use them all. Yeah, like, um, I could legit just do the whole video like this. I mean, how y'all doing up there? <laughs> so Pippin, if you do have a bunch of Action 2 accessories, don't throw them away. Just pile them up, get them together, and use them. And now my next tip is using any microphone with the DJI Osmo Action 4, because I know in a lot of reviews, they've only used the DJI mics. Now, don't get me wrong, the DJI mic is amazing. It is extremely good. It, to me, I mean, it won drip of the year. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. But my ninja, let's be real, not a lot of people can afford the DJI microphones. They are good, but yeah, they're a little pricey. So to use any microphone with this is, all you have to do is grab the USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cable, along with the TRS to TRRS cable. <laughs> plug it into the headphone jack, and then plug the USB Type-C into the DJI Osmo Action 4. And then go ahead and plug the other end into the receiver. Okay, now obviously you got a lot going on with the cords and the, yeah, the receiver. You, there's a lot going on. So it would be easier to just get the DJI mics. But again, the cord is literally, both cords together 
you're looking at maybe seven dollars okay and quick side note we are on the comica mics and yeah you can see it like connected right here just dangling so <laughs> yeah but it works come on like come on him him now i did forget i i left it at home but there is a way that you could stick the actual receiver onto the camera by using like a sticky mount and i'll i'll insert it right here i'm gonna go home find it and insert it later but now just note when you do take off the door to use an external mic it is not waterproof so pimp pimpin remember that and now real quick my ninjas i know it's super sunny but if you are finding some value from the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because we almost at 10k <laughs> and by doing so you will be officially a ninja boss all right, and my next tip would have to be for vloggers. Cause if you are planning on using this as a vlogging camera or even like a sit down camera, I would suggest using portrait mode just cause you seem to, it seems to be just a little bit softer when using it as a vlogging camera or as a sit down camera. Anything that's pointed towards you, definitely take advantage of that portrait mode. And now if not, I would definitely drop the sharpness down to negative two and you are good. Gucci. And now my next tip is to note the minimal focus distance because it is a bit further than the DJI Osmo Action 2 as well as the 3. While the DJI Osmo Action 2 and 3 were 30 centimeters, the Osmo 4 is 40 centimeters. So you will definitely need to put it further away to be in focus. So now after doing some measurements at home, I worked out that 40 centimeters is about here. Here's good too. Here's good. Just, just not this. Like you can't, no. Yes. <laughs> so my ninjas, just remember, 40 centimeters. And now I saved the best couple of tips for last because these tips have to do with low light and better image quality. Because to get the best image quality and low light quality out of the DJI Osmo Action 4, there are a couple of things that you can do. The first one being shoot in D-Log M. And now yes, you will need to like basic color grade it, but you will be you will be satisfied with image quality as well as low light performance. All right, now here is another example. As you can see, the ISO is 350. Shutter speed's one over 100, and this is normal picture profile. Now let's go out. Let's press D-Log, go back, and now it's dropped to 190 in D-Log. And then lastly, to get the best low light performance out of the DJI Osmo Action 4, is something that I found out by just literally just playing with the camera. And that is to actually take off the lens cover. And now again, this is something that I just found out just randomly playing with the camera. Cause I noticed that DJI included this little lens cap with the camera. And I was like, why would they, why would they include this? So I went ahead and popped out the lens cover, popped on the lens cap. And that's when I noticed there was a significant drop in the ISO. And now the lower that ISO number is, the less noise in the image quality, which translates to better low light performance. Boss. All right, now real quick, I do have to jump in and say, I noticed that this hack, to, I mean like taking the lens cover hack works the best when the camera is desperate. Like the darker it is, the better it'll work. In like regular situation where it has plenty of light, it's not gonna work. But when it's desperate, it'll work. And then the D-Log hack works every time. Like pimping, just, just shoot a D-Log. And now something to note is that you do have to be careful because now the lens is exposed. And also, when you put this on, the camera is not waterproof. So make sure you know this going in. Don't go down underwater with it. I think you'll be okay in the rain, but do not submerge it in water. Like, just don't pimpin', don't even do it. I wonder why no one talked about this and I wonder why DJI didn't talk about this. Like. Come on, y'all like, well look, y'all know I ain't a hater. I'm just super saying. If I would've just known this, I would've, you know? Like for real, I was, I was legit about to just throw this away. <laughs> <laughs> well, my ninja, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy, the link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause I ain't a hater. Hope you guys found some value with these tips because I'm really trying to help y'all just bring some more sauce when it comes to the DJI Osmo Action 4 as well as just more sauce in general. So if you guys need any tips, pimpin, holla at a player. Now, but seriously though, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> now real quick, I know this is like not really a camera hack or the DJI Osmo Action 4 hack, but like the DJI charging case charges laptops.